Hi everyone, it's Michelle, the Child Care Entrepreneur. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about math. Now, with my math, uh, I love to do a lot of hands-on puzzles and counters. Uh, we do a lot of cooking, a lot of reading using math. We do real life. We have a restaurant we set up with cash register and menu and all that. Um, we play with money and placemats. We do magnet tiles, all these different types of things to help foster math. So I just want to show you and uh, take you around of some of the things that I use to help the children learn math. And as we know, um, math consists of numbers, uh, counting, it consists of adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and it also includes patterns um, and, and things like that. So uh, math is all around us, and that is one of the things that I do teach the children, and I do it through um, lots of different great puzzles, and I have these counters here, which are animal counters. I also have teddy bears and other counters that the children love to use. I have a thing here by uh, Melissa and Doug, pattern blocks and boards, where you take your, um, pick whatever board you want, and you put your pattern on there. And yes, my children do know about um, hexagon and trapezoids, rhombuses, diamonds, all of those things. They can tell you at a very young age. And uh, we read this book, Let's Count, another Tana Hoban uh, book that I just love um, because those books are just so visual and um, show real life pictures, which is important. And I have here a, um, it's very long, uh, where I measure the children and how they grow. Uh, that also includes numbers, and they love that. They love to stand there every day to see if they've grown each day. And they'll throw out a number, even though they may not know exactly their height, but at least they're using the numbers. We do a lot of cooking, and um, so we use measuring spoons and measuring cups and all types of things. Lots of books. Um, I have a book on shapes. I have a book on colors, numbers, and counting, and we even learn how to count in Spanish and uh, in Chinese. Um, and I love these Leapfrog, Numbers Ahoy, and Math to the Moon uh, videos. They're a lot of fun, and the kids, they sing to them, they're counting, and they love it. They don't even know that um, I'm really teaching them. Uh, a lot of what their math and then there's the cash register and it does have cash in it and it also has a credit card uh, and then here's another favorite chicka chicka boom boom or chicka chicka one two three with the video that's a favorite and then i have um, the tactile boards again but this time with the numbers and the children can trace them and do whatever they like to do with those. I have placemats um, where they can count and um, that's a great visual for them that has the numbers on there. It also uh, shows the number on the fingers as well as uh, pictures and so I love that. And then here's a another preschool prep videos on numbers, colors, and shapes. Very great. Um, really great uh, videos for math and then I have uh, learn your colors where you put um, the shapes on here according to the color that's like a big dinosaur and then I have another hands-on activity uh, where the children put the fish in the fish bowl it's another felt uh, game and then I have the magnets here where they can create lots of different shapes. They love to do that. That's an activity they can play with all day. Um, and they're learning about the squares, the triangles, uh, rectangles, all of those different things. And then I have some magnetic numbers here. And I like to get these big because um, for one thing, you don't want them, if they're putting them in their mouth or something like that, you don't want them 
to have something they can swallow or choke on, but they also create um, a really good visual effect when the children are looking at the numbers and things. And then I have a scale, which is also math. We use our counters a lot on the, the scales. And then I have uh, blocks, which I also use and also could be counted as math. Um, and then I have dominoes, which the kids love to count the dots on the dominoes. They love to match up the, the numbers here um, for dominoes. And they don't necessarily know how to play the game, but they know uh, how to count those dots and match them up and things like that. So that makes for great learning. And then I have another number puzzle, which they love. And then my children learn how to use a ruler very early. We are measuring around the room. Uh, we're measuring different things. We use that for science. And I'll do a video also on science. And then we also have our, um, our beads. And we're doing lacing and things like that. So when you are teaching your children uh, math, make sure that you include a lot of these things in there, the patterns, the counting, uh, even when you're at a stop sign and you're outside and you're driving, uh, the traffic lights, all that is math. Counting the red cars, looking at license plates, when you go to a, a restaurant or even at the grocery store, all of that is math. Make sure they are learning those things. Uh, those are a great foundational pieces for them learning more things like adding and subtracting, multiplying and dividing. Uh, and it also teaches them how to use critical thinking when they're doing their math. So this is just a little bit of what I use um, to teach those different concepts. And remember, we're trying to develop these skills early so that by the time they get to school um, and they get to that type of learning, then they'll have those basics and those foundational pieces so that it will make it um, better for them to know what's going on um, with the math development. All right, so, and what you're gonna find when I do these videos is that a lot of what you teach, uh, especially with math, science, a lot of them are cross curricular. So what that means is that what you use for math, you can also use for science. Uh, what you use for social studies, you can also use for language arts. So a lot of these are cross curricular. So don't be afraid to um, use a lot of these things um, interchangeably and across the curriculum. All right, so if you haven't seen my video on reading, please go ahead and do that. Um, that is posted and then I will also do a video on um, my science I will also do a, a video on visual spatial learning and then some of the things that I use for Bible uh, all right all right so take care and I will see you in the next video have a great day bye bye